Okay, so now that uh, the plaster is done, it's not 100% dry, but as it was drying, I smoothed it out. You can take a file or whatever and sand it down in the back ruts here if you want, or you can use sandpaper. Depends on what you use. Either way, it doesn't have to be perfect because this, uh, whatever you decide to use, you can use felt, you can use leather. Um, depending on what you use this stuff you don't have to worry about too much it hides it's pretty pretty good leather is a little different but we'll see how it goes I might have to add more plaster in here but we'll see how it looks like after we do it so the next step is cutting this out and putting it on now we want to measure what we're using so basically put this down and just make sure it's gonna go all the way around we're stapling it from the back so you got to leave a bit of room um, probably there, there's the edge. So, I don't know, square piece like that. Should be good. Okay, so, now that you have your felt cut, you want to make sure it's on there, right? And you have enough to pull it around. This one, uh, it should fit, right? But we'll see. You want to cut a line from the top of the burr here. Right, I guess it's the bottom of the bear, right there. And just cut it straight back and follow the the horn. You want to hide this from in behind, so you want to make sure you cut it in the right spot. Same goes on this side, right there, and just follow the horn. Okay, do the same on the other side. After we're done, we're going to cut a circle, not too big. And that's where it's going to wrap around the horn underneath. If you don't wrap a circle, it's going to fold funny, so start small and go from there. I'm going to have to cut it a little bigger. Basically do the same thing for the other side though. Okay, so now that we're done, this is what the felt will look like after. Just so you kind of get the idea. The horns came out this way and this is the holes. You pretty much make them the same as the horns up here. And you just put it on. Sort of wrap it in there. When you start stapling it on the back, you want to start with the top end here. Flip it over, take your staple gun, staple it on, and then just pull it tight so you have no creases. Okay, so I'll start stapling. Cut this out after so at least flat on your other mount. And that's it. You're not going to see this because it's going to be hidden by the rope. Now you can take your scissors, cut all this out so it lays flat. It's 
pretty much it. Okay, so this is probably the hardest part of the whole operation. Um, you have to pick the right size of rope and get the right distance. This fits on the front kit, but it won't fit in the back very good. You want to tuck it underneath the burr. So I'm going to use this, this size of rope. Um, it fits in there good. Now what you want to do here is tuck it underneath and mark it. It's easier to mark in front. We're not going to glue it in the front. We're going to glue it in the back so you can't see it. But this is just so we know exactly where to cut. You're going to want to mark it. You're going to want to scotch tape it so it doesn't fray after you cut it with a utility knife. And then we're going to hot glue it in the back. Okay, so now that you have your rope, uh, you go ahead and tape it. Um, you tape it so when you cut it, it doesn't fray. I already cut it. Um, basically, after you cut it, you want to take hot glue and just dab it on. So when you do take this tape off, it doesn't fray real bad. And of course, it's getting a little, but it doesn't look too bad. It goes in the back, so it's all good. And then you just Tuck her in there and dab her in with a little bit of hot glue. Just want to wrap it around, tuck it in the back. It's going to hold your fabric down also. Remember, this is in the back, so they can't see it. And just hold it there until it's dry. There you have it. Okay, so threw a quick stain on the edge. Um, basically, we're gonna drill three holes here, here, and here, and that's gonna mount the back of the antler plaque. Okay, now uh, that we got it drilled on, now we just have to put the rope around this just to hide some of that. And we're good, we're just going to hot glue it up. Go all the way around. And you're done. You're going to want to hide the join again right behind one of the horns. And that's it. That's how you mount your horns. Thanks for watching.